We have heard all this talk about the standard and poor downgrade, which happened last week. But what does this mean for you and your pocketbook? Joining us to talk about that tonight is Gennady Litvin. He is a bankruptcy attorney from Brooklyn. Welcome, Gennady. Thank you for having me. I hope I pronounced your first you name did. right. So you are a bankruptcy attorney, and you've been watching the S&P downgrade here. And what kind of effect it will have on consumer credit? I think that's what most people are concerned about. Well, the downgrade comes expected to a lot of people. Even though uh, the market might have might be saying that, hey, you know what, we don't know S&P is going to downgrade us. We knew the market's going to react negatively mm -hmm. uh, based on what happened. Um, it was just symbolic. The fact that S&P downgraded uh, from AAA to AA, the United yeah. States, essentially what it means is there's going to be another credit crunch. It's going to be a bit long-lasting for now. What's interesting here, I found, is that the other two main credit agencies did not lower the country's debt rating. Um, so does this mean that consumers will feel something over the next few months since the, the credit agencies haven't been able to come to agreement here? Well, the consumers are definitely going to feel the pain in one way or another. Even though the other two agencies didn't uh, agree to the same downgrade, mm -hmm. one agency is enough. But once again, it was just symbolic. We know that the banks aren't going to be lending as much as they were before. But we knew that before the downgrade. We knew that interest rates might go up on mortgages, but we knew that before the downgrade. Mm -hmm. So essentially, we're all going to feel that credit crunch. How much time before we'll see an effect? Time is always our worst enemy. And you know what? Before it really goes through Wall Street, mm -hmm. I believe it'll be probably 60 to 90 days before that credit crunch is really felt. Okay, so what can people do now? Watch Homeowners, your consumers, what can they do now? The biggest issue is going to be for those people that got the negative amortization type of loans two, three, four years back. Loans are due to mature. Interest rates are going to go up if the banks aren't going to be lending at the same rate. That means those homeowners are really going to be hurting when it comes to getting that interest rate maturing. So what does that mean? Essentially, your interest can go up from 3% to maybe 8 9%, depending really on the bank. That's huge for That's huge. People. Homeowners, essentially, they should be getting ready for these times. Prepare, call your banking institution. Find out if there's any way that you could come to terms with them because you know what to expect, and mm -hmm. so do they. If they're willing to help, you should definitely take that help from them. So reorganize your finances now. Absolutely. Do you think we're entering another recession? Recession, no. Um, I think that we're definitely not in the times of 2007, 2008. Mm -hmm. I think we're definitely better. We've learned from our mistakes. But you know what? The ripple effect is still there. We're it's been slow, a slow recovery. Gennady Litvin, bankruptcy attorney, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. We have all heard about...